Hey guys, so today we're going to talk about just how to find derivatives and we're going to go over the three most important shortcuts. These will help you find the vast majority of derivatives you're going to see and learning how to solve derivatives is one of the most important things and you'll be doing it for the rest of your math career. So it's important to know how to do this. And the three most important rules that we're going to go over is one, the power rule, the second is going to be the product rule, and the third is the quotient rule. And each one has their own application and their own difficulty. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through one by one and just show examples. So we're going to start with the power rule. And here we have a function f of x equals 10x to the third plus 3x squared plus 5x plus 50. And the power rule says if f of x is x to the n, then f prime of x, the derivative, is n times x to the n minus 1. So let's look at this. Let's try to get everything to where it looks like this. So we've got 10x cubed. And now let's try to think of it as x to the n. Then we need to do n. So let's think, what is our n? Our n is that 3, because that's the exponent. So we bring the exponent out front. So now we have 10 times 3 multiplied by x, because that just stays where it is. Then we raise it to n minus 1. Well, n was 3, so now it's going to be 3 minus 1. And I can just write that as 2. And then, so the first derivative of just 10x cubed is going to be 3 times 10 is 30x squared. So that is what the derivative of this right here is. <clears throat> but we need the derivative of the whole function. So now we get into what we call sum and difference rule. And that says that the derivative of a function will just be the sum or difference of the derivative of all its parts. So we can take this derivative and just add it to this derivative and add it to that derivative and then add it to that derivative and that will give us the derivative of this whole thing of all of f of x. So now let's look at the 3x squared term. Derivative of 3x squared, well I'm going to bring my 2 out to the front. I'm going to get 2 times the 3 that was already there. x and then I'm going to do 2 minus 1 is just 1. So I'm going to get plus 6x because that's the derivative of 3x squared. So now we have um, 5x. And I like to put a little 1 there just so it makes it clear to me what, what I'm multiplying by, what my n is. And I'm going to get, okay, let's just do the power rule like normal. So we do 1 times 5, bring the n to the front, x, then it's to the 1 minus 0. Well, that would be 5x to the 0, well it would be 1 minus 1, so it would be 2 to the 0. So 5x to the 0, and you know anything to the 0 power is just 1, so this would turn into 5 times 1. So it's just plus 5. And what we can call that, we can just say the derivative of, so if f of x is equal to um, something like, I'll name it like, if it's n x to the first, so it's just x and there has there's no power greater than 1, then f prime of x, all it's going to be is n. So we can take away the um, x and just leave the n. And that's if there's just a single x, it's not raised to any power. Then finally we have the rule about constants. If f of x equals a constant, then f prime of x, the derivative, is just 0. So derivative of 50 plus 0, we don't even need to say that. So this is our derivative. We get f prime of x equals 30x squared plus 6x plus 5. And you'll get a lot more comfortable with this as we go. Let's just do one more example and you'll see how quickly you can do it after you get the hang of it. We'll do 5x to the fourth plus 4x to the third plus 2x plus 10. Okay, so well, I'm going to start f prime of x. I'm just going to take the derivative of all the parts and go straight in a row, straight across. So I'm going to do 4 times 5 is 20. So it's going to be 20x. And then I'm going to do to the 4 minus 1, which is 3. So that's that first one. Plus, now I'm going to do 3 times 4, bringing that to the front. That's going to give me 12x. And then I'm going to do 3 minus 1. I know that's just 2. Then plus, and now this is this situation right here, where we have f to the n, f of x equals nx to the first. And like we said, f prime of x is just going to equal the number out front, which in this case is just a 2. So it's just plus 2. And then finally, this last number, the constant, the derivative of that is just 0. So it doesn't need to even be mentioned. So we'd get 20x cubed plus 12x squared 
plus 2, and that is our derivative. So that's the power rule. You'll get used to that one because you'll be seeing it everywhere. To do the next two rules, the product and quotient rule, you'll need to have a good understanding of the power rule. So let's move on to that. So what the product rule says is, as you can probably infer, it works when we have the product of two functions. So f of x is the product of this function and this function. So to find that derivative, we need to take, we need to break them into a g prime of x, uh, well a g of x and an h of x. So let's say g of x, we'll name that the first one. We'll say that is the 3x squared plus 10. And then we'll say, well, h of x must be 2x plus 5. Okay, and then now let's just go with what this rule says. It says f prime of x is the derivative of g of x times h of x, just normal, plus the derivative of h of x times g of x. Okay, well, I see that I'm going to eventually need g prime of x, and I'm going to eventually need h prime of x. So let's just find those out now, so I don't have to worry about them later. Okay, so g prime of x, and now I have to take the derivative of this function here. Well, that, again, is going to go back to my product rule. So I'm going to say, well, I'm going to do 2, bring it out to the front. 2 times 3 is 6. Then I'm going to be left with just 6x, because 2 minus 1 is just 1. So 6x, and then the 10, that doesn't matter because the derivative of a constant is 0. So g prime of x is 6x, and h prime of h of x is 2x plus 5. So now we can take the derivative of this. And remember, when we, when we just have 2x to the first, the, the derivative is just going to be the constant. So that's just going to be a 2. And then plus, well, the derivative of 5 is just 0. So we have g prime of x is 6x, and h prime of x is 2. And now we're ready to roll and plug in this formula. Okay, so f prime of x equals, well, we have g prime of x first, so I'm going to plug in my 6x, and then I'm going to multiply it by h of x. Remember, it's just h of x by itself, so it's going to be 2x plus 5. Then I'm going to add, I'm going to add h prime of x, which is just 2, multiplied by g of x, which is 3x squared plus 10. Now, of course, I could simplify. I could distribute out everything, and I get 6x. I'll get 12x squared plus um, 30x plus 6x squared plus 20. Combine like terms, f prime of x is equal to 18x squared plus 30x plus 20. And that's my final answer. That's the derivative. So eventually, you're not going to have to write out um, what g of x equals, what h, uh, g prime of x equals, and all that. You'll just be able to get the hang of it and go fast. So pretty much what you need to memorize is that we take the derivative of the first term, leave the second one alone, then we add it to the derivative of the second term, leaving the first one alone. It's that simple. So let's try another example. Let's say f of x equals, um, let's do 2x cubed plus 2x. And then we'll have um, 3x squared plus 10. Well, that's exactly what I just did. Wow, I don't know why I like that function. Um, let's have 4x to the fifth minus 3x. So these are our two functions. And now I'm going to try to just do it quickly. So I'm going to take f prime of x. Well, I'm going to take the derivative of the first and then leave the second alone. So I'm going to take the derivative of the first right here. I'm going to get, well, 3 times 2 power rule again, 6x squared plus, well, it's a 2x, so I know the derivative of that is just going to be the 2. Then I'm going to leave the second term alone, so 4x to the fifth minus 3x. Then I'm going to add this, and now I'm going to take the derivative of the second term, so I'm going to get 4 times 5 is 20x to the 5 minus 1 is 4 minus, again, derivative of 3x is just going to be 3. Now, finally, I'm going to multiply it by the first one, leaving it alone. So 2x cubed plus 2x. And that'll be the derivative. And I'll, I don't need to multiply that out. It'd be very complicated. So that's an example of another way to use the product rule. You take the derivative of the first one, leave the second one the same, add it to the derivative of the second one, leaving the first one the same. And now, I hope you've noticed that we have to use the power rule for all of these, and all of these will eventually eventually trans transfer over to using the chain rule. So everything in this builds on each other.
And finally, for what a lot of people think is the toughest one, we have the quotient rule. And you use the quotient rule, rule when you have f of x equals g of x to so some function divided by another function. And again, the uh, derivative is going to be h of x times g prime of x minus g of x times h prime of x. Let me put the x in there. Divided by h of x squared. And this one is complicated to remember. So my teacher told me one time um, that the best way to remember is just to do low d high minus, all right, minus, minus high d low all over low squared. And I have not forgotten that since I've taken calculus. And it makes this so much easier. And just think about whenever it says d, that means derivative. So we take the low, which is the h of x, multiply it by d high, which is the derivative of the top, minus high, which is just the function on top, times d low, all divided by low squared. And that just makes sense for me. I can just memorize that and roll with it instead of trying to memorize this complicated formula. So again, let's figure out, just for this first one, let's figure out what our g of x is and what our h of x is. Okay, well, g of x, that's just whatever term's on top. That is 3x minus 5, which means h of x is the term on the bottom, which is x squared plus 1. And now, well, let's get g prime of x, so I see that that's in my formula, and I see that h prime of x is in my formula. So I'm going to get those, figure those out, so I don't have to do it later. H, g, g prime of x is going to be just, well, the um, 3x, the derivative of that is just 3, and minus 5, that has no derivative. Well, it's 0. So now we have 2x squared plus 1, and I'm going to get 2x is the derivative of that. So now, finally, I can plug everything in, and let's go. All right, so we have f prime of x equals, well, my thing tells me low d high. So low, that's just leaving the bottom by itself. That's x squared plus 1. d high, that's the derivative of the top, which I just said was 3. So that's 3. Minus high, well, that just means I'm going to put the top in and leave it alone. So 3x minus 5. d low, so I'm going to multiply it by derivative of the bottom, which is just 2x. All over low squared, that's going to be x squared plus 1 squared. So again, that's how I use my rule here. I got low, the low function, times derivative of the high, minus the high function, times the derivative of the low, all over low squared. And notice low just means um, denominator, high just means numerator. I hope that makes sense. And let's do one more example using the quotient rule. Let's say f of x equals 2x to the fourth minus 5 divided by 3x squared plus 10x. And let's find the derivative. And this time, let's try to just not, let's try not to write out what g of x is, what h of x is. Let's just try to go and see if we can do it. So f prime of x equals, well, I know it starts out with low. So low is 3x squared plus 10x. You need to multiply that by d high, so the derivative of the high. 2x to the fourth minus 5. Well, I'm going to have to do the power rule on the 2x to the fourth. I'm going to get 8x to the third. Derivative of minus 5 is just nothing, so I don't need to put that there. And then it's minus high d low, so I leave the top just high, which is 2x to the fourth minus 5, times d low, so I need to take the derivative of the bottom, which we're going to use power rule again. We're going to get 3x squared turns into 6x plus 10. Derivative of 10x is just 10, all over low squared, which is 3x squared plus 10x, and I just need to square that. And I could, again, simplify this. I could factor it out and everything, but no need for that. So this is f prime if that, if our function is this, and this was f prime for the one that we solved earlier. I hope this made sense. These rules are very important for calculus, and you'll be using them for as long as you're taking math classes. I hope this helped. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, and I'll have a video on the short chain rule.